Canon M6 was released back in 2017. Now, at the time, it cost around $800. Nowadays, you can find it used for about $350. The M6 was replaced by the M6 Mark II, so what do you get with the original M6? Well, there's a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor, Canon's dual pixel autofocus system, and five axis electronic image stabilization, which more on that in a minute. The M6 is actually pretty well built. You know, even though it's a small camera, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It actually has kind of a premium feel. It has a 1.4 million dot LCD screen that's fully touch enabled and a mic input. In terms of video, there's no 4K, which I know, shocking. But there is 1080p and it does it at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. And one thing I'll say that surprises me is they're not particularly high bit rates. At 60 frames per second, you're only at 35 megabits a second, and 24 and 30 only do 24 megabits a second, but they still manage to get a pretty decent image, even with that lower bit rate. Autofocus on the M6 is genuinely good. For example, I'm filming this bit here with the Canon 50mm f1.4 USM. In case you don't remember, that is a film lens from 1993. I'm using it with an adapter and look, even this old lens still tracks my every movement. It's able to follow me everywhere I go. Like I can start way back here, do a slow walk up into position and it locks on and follows me the entire time. I'm genuinely impressed by that. In terms of image stabilization, the M6 has five axis electronic image stabilization, which works okay. I've reviewed like a lot of Panasonic cameras and Olympus cameras, and those do image stabilization really well. M6 just is kind of a mediocre image stabilization. Uh, it helps, you know, when you're filming B-roll handheld, it's definitely nice. It's better than no image stabilization at all. But the problem is, I think a lot of people that are looking at this camera are probably looking at it for like vlogging or YouTube in general, and it's not as good for like walk and talk segments. You know, like for this type of walk and talk stuff, it's, it's okay. I mean, again, it's definitely better than having no image stabilization at all. But if you're coming off something like a Panasonic camera or an Olympus camera, certain newer Sony cameras, you might be kind of surprised in the quality of the image stabilization. Again though, much better than no image stabilization at all. I was trying to think about how to explain this camera to someone who's like curious, someone who's interested, but who's never actually used it before. And I think I have kind of a unique perspective from someone who's like a camera collector. See, basically I've been doing photography and videography for a little over 30 years now. And in that time I've used like all cameras from all camera companies from a lot of different eras. You know, and I continue to this day to still shoot in that same fashion. You know, I might be using a camera from 2017 today, but I'll be using a camera from 2008 tomorrow and a camera from 2014 the next day. And the thing is, when you're constantly using this many cameras from this many different eras, specs just kind of go out the window. You know, instead, it's like your overall user experience becomes much more amplified. You know, it's a matter of what's it actually like to use? Do I enjoy this? Is it a great experience or do I hate it? Is it a terrible experience? Does it do what I need it to do? And that's kind of where the M6 falls in. The M6 isn't class leading in any way, shape or form. There's nothing about the specs of this camera that are going to wow you. Having said that, the overall user experience is actually really enjoyable, especially for someone like me who makes these kinds of YouTube videos. The M6 has a genuinely good looking image. It has really good autofocus. It has okay image stabilization. It has a flip up screen. It has a mic input. And at the end of the day, 
it's just a positive experience. You know, I mentioned uh, in a previous video, I was the Olympus uh, EM10. I was saying how I look at cameras the way Jeremy Clarkson looks at cars. You know, either they have soul or they don't. Either you bond with them or you don't. And for me, much like the Olympus EM10, the M6 is one of those cameras that I genuinely bond with. Like. I genuinely enjoy the experience, like I feel inspired. When I walk past a bookshelf and I see this camera on that shelf, I want to pick this up. I want to walk around and take pictures. I want to walk around and film videos. So no, it's not, it's not class leading in any way, shape or form, but it is a great overall user experience. That's why, I mean, all these years, I still use the M6 on a regular basis. So many of these YouTube videos that you're watching are actually filmed on a Canon M6. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.